when you are talking to a group of people, you observe your speech and the way that, that you talk. Muraat muqtada al muhatab, sah? You observe who you're talking to and what you say to them. There's a story that's mentioned of Abdullah ibn Maslamat al Qa'nabi. Listen to this story. Abdullah ibn Maslamat al Qa'nabi. We'll, we'll mention what he becomes later. But Abdullah ibn Maslamat al Qa'nabi, one day he was in a place. They say he was uh, with his friends. And some of the scholars mention he was drinking alcohol and يعني, he was with his friends and enjoying him, enjoying him his, his time. So a great imam of hadith entered the city that he was in. And this hadith, this imam who came into the city is known as Shu'bat ibn Hajjaj Abu Bistam al-Ataki. He was the first person who was given the name Amir al Mu'minina fil hadith Shu'bah was his name. So Abdullah ibn Samat al qanabi is playing with his friends, enjoying him since his time. Some scholars, they mentioned he was playing chess board, the game. And they said he wasn't drinking alcohol, but he was playing chess. And he was a youth. He was enjoying his, his, his time. So they said, uh, he saw the people running. So he's sitting here playing with his friends and they're all running to Shu'ba. So he doesn't know all of this. So he stood up. He said, why is everybody running for? They said they're, they're running to a scholar of hadith. His name is Shu'ba ibn Hajjaj. He said, who is he? What is a scholar of hadith? So being very curious, he went up to Shu'ba and everybody was running and he ran to him. He, went, he walked towards him and he stood in front of him and he said, who are you? What do you do? Shu'ba said, I narrate the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. He said, okay, tell me a hadith. And this is why I'm telling the story to you all because Shu'ba is now in a situation where he has to look at who he's talking to. You see how important it is. So from all of the hadith he knows, he has to select a hadith that's befitting for this individual who's asking. This is knowledge. This is eloquency to know who you're talking to, what you should say to them, and what you shouldn't say to them. Do you, does anyone know what, what he said? Ah. He said something to him that changed the life of Abdullah ibn Maslamat al qanabi He said that the Prophet, so Shu'ba is a scholar of hadith, so straight away what he did was he narrated the hadith from himself to the Prophet That's how they do it. They don't just say, Qala Rasulullah, especially that time. And then he said to him, the hadith of the Prophet, إِنَّ مِمَّا أَدْرَكَ النَّاسِ مِنْ كَلَامِ النُّبُوَّةِ الْأُولَىٰ إِذَا لَمْ تَسْتَحِي فَاسْنَعْ مَا شِيْءٍ One of the greatest quotes, one of the proverbs that was taken from the previous prophets, Nabi Muhammad saying this, that if you're not shy, do whatever you want. Shyness is a preventative factor that stops you from doing what is evil. That word penetrated the heart of Abdullah ibn Muslim al qanabi he chose a hadith which is very short in construction. This is one of the hadiths that Imam Nawawi selected for his 42 hadiths. Do you all know why Nawawi selected those 42 hadiths? Because those 42 hadiths are Jawami'ul Kalim, the comprehensive, comprehensive speech of the Prophet, which the religion stands on. So when Abdullah ibn Muslimat al qanabi heard the hadith, it penetrated his heart and he left and he went to the city of Medina. He sat under the feet of Imam Malik and he became one of the prominent students of Imam Malik, Abdullah ibn Muslimat al qanabi And his riwaya of Muwatta Malik is published today. His narration of the Muwatta of Imam Malik and Imam al-Bukhari narrated from him يعني, in his Sahih and Muslim and Abi Dawood and Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah and Nasa'i. He's in the books of Hadith. Abdullah ibn Maslamat al-Qa'anabi if you look at his name. 